Former President Trump spent his last few hours in office issuing more than 100 pardons and commutations. WGN's Gaynor Hall is live in Libertyville with that story tonight. Gaynor? Yeah, right. And Micah, most of the list included people who were serving uh, long sentences for fairly low level offenses, but there were several well known names included, uh, including uh, the brother of former Bears great Brian Erlacher. So have a good life. We will see you soon. Thank you. Now former President Donald Trump leaving the White House this morning for Florida. Just hours before the transfer of power, he granted clemency to more than 140 people. Among them, the mayor of suburban Matawa, Casey Erlacher, who was one of 10 people charged last year in connection with an illegal sports gambling operation, but he was the only one pardoned. His brother, retired Hall of Fame Bears linebacker Brian Erlacher, has donated thousands to the Trump campaign and visited the White House in March in an Instagram post calling it a once in a lifetime experience getting to hang out with President Trump in the Oval Office. In a statement today, Casey Erlacher's attorney said, quote, we are very thankful that out of all of the thousands of petitions for pardon submitted to the president that he read and appreciated all of the outstanding qualities and decency that Casey possesses and saw fit to grant him a pardon. Trump also preemptively pardoned his former strategist, Steve Bannon, who was charged with defrauding donors to Trump's border wall, and rapper Lil Wayne, who pleaded guilty to gun charges. Trump commuted the sentence of Craig Cecil, the West Suburban man, was serving a life sentence for conspiracy to distribute marijuana. We uh, were able to kind of gather an army of supporters for him that helped helped to get him to home confinement and now helped with clemency too. When I first talked to him after that, it was just, he said, tremendous relief. He kind of felt like in a daze, a little lost, but just tremendous relief. And after landing in Florida as his final act, Trump pardoned the ex-husband of Fox News Channel host, Janine Pirro.